The 10 strangest schools in the world. We are sure that knowledge is power, but there is no better place for children to learn than at a good school. But there are all kinds of schools, from some very square-minded and extremely serious to some very particular. Floating schools. For great problems, great solutions. And one of those great problems that Bangladesh must always face is that a third of the country is affected by the devastating floods they suffer every year, destroying everything in their path. Hospitals, homes, and above all, leaving hundreds of children out of classes. With this painful situation, Mohammad Rezwan devised a perfect and creative solution, the original creation of floating schools. But this ingenious idea was not going to come true on its own. So Mohammed decided to start his own NGO in 1998 with the 500 USD of his own scholarship. And he combined that with his life savings so that with the help of an old computer started its ambitious project. But it was not until 2002 that he managed to raise the necessary funds for its first floating school. Currently, there are more than 50 floating schools with Wi-Fi connections, libraries and clinics that offer services to about 97,000 people in the most flood-prone areas. In total, they estimate that Mohammed's NGO has helped around half a million people over all these years. The creator of these schools is definitely a capeless hero. You go! Cave School Quizhou is one of the poorest regions of China, and deep in its bowels is Zhangdong, a small town completely separated from any city life. Its inhabitants live in a gigantic cave, located at 5,905 feet above sea level, and it can only be accessed on foot, walking for more than an hour among the mountains of the area. Given the need for children of the 20 families who live there to enjoy a good education, the inhabitants themselves created a school that was 754.5 feet long, 377 feet wide, and 164 feet high. Six classes were dictated to its 200 students, many of whom came from even more remote areas in search of knowledge. However, the Chinese government declared in 2011 that its country is not a caveman society, forever closing the precarious school that had been improvised by the inhabitants inside the cave. Since then, children have to walk for more than five hours to receive basic education. It was unfair to close it. Brooklyn Free School For every rebellious child, entering this institution would be a dream come true. Because the Brooklyn Free School, although it sounds really implausible, it does not have any planned curriculum in advance, nor do they perform exams and, therefore, there are no qualifications and you can miss classes as many times as you want. Students have the complete freedom to make their schedule as they see fit and take the classes they want, how to write a review of their favorite restaurant or dissect in detail their favorite cartoon. Divided into two groups, from 4 to 11 years old and from 11 to 18 years old, the classes are in charge of the students and the teachers only intervene as moderators. Would you like to study here? Gulu Elementary School Gulu is a little-known town of China. The only way to get to the village is through exaggeratedly narrow passages between rock walls and rickety bridges. Here, hidden in one of the mountains, is the remotely known Gulu Primary School. The school is run by a single teacher, Shen Kuijun, who came to Gulu when he was 18 years old and found it to be in precarious conditions. After a student fell off the mountain for trying to go to the bathroom that was on the other side, Shen gathered the villagers and all of them renovated the school so that it operates in optimum conditions. Now, all the surrounding children can enjoy having a good education despite being far from the city. Excellent teamwork! Train Platform Schools Whatever teacher in Derajit Kurana took the train to work, she found several children begging at train passengers instead of going to school. Then she thought, if the mountain does not come to Muhammad, Muhammad goes to the mountain. Or in this case, if the children do not go to school, the school goes to the children. This is how Kurana started the Ruchika organization in order to start teaching trains since 1985. Kurana started her project with only one school, but now more than 4,000 students receive education throughout India through her charitable program. Schools are adapted to the needs of street children, 
working children, and children from poor families. Everyone gathers on train platforms to learn how to read and write through the use of vocabulary cards, songs, theater, music, and puppets. They are even given food and medicine so that they are 100% motivated to study. Isn't it a fantastic idea? Underground School Abo Elementary School is proud to be the first clandestine school in the United States. But how is it a clandestine school? Simple. At the height of the Cold War, President John F. Kennedy decided to build a clandestine school. That is, it would also function as a shelter below the earth in Artesia, a New Mexico city. The school is completely underground and has three different entrances, each of which is protected by a 1,763-pound steel armored door. It is also equipped with decontamination showers. It is so safe that it is capable of withstanding 20 megaton radiation attack and an explosion. Fortunately, a Bow Elementary School never fulfilled the mission for which it was created, luckily. But unfortunately, it was closed in 1995 due to the increase in maintenance costs. It was too expensive to perform the necessary maintenance on the entire infrastructure. A shame, but would you have liked to study in this incredible refuge? School of the Future This is a state-of-the-art school. Inaugurated in 2006, West Philadelphia School of the Future has never needed students to have books, because here, they are provided with state-of-the-art computers to do their work. In addition, teachers used computerized smart boards instead of traditional ones, and students have completely secured digital boxes that can only be opened with the flash of an identification card. Nobody can touch their things. Top secret. As if that were not enough, one of the great benefits of studying here is that by having a great familiarity with Microsoft Office and other programs, students are more likely to find excellent employment after graduation by being accustomed to using the latest technology, in addition to having excellent work recommendations. Isn't that amazing? Which school? Although they won't teach you how to fly in a broomstick or how to put a spell on your ex so he'll never leave you at this school, what is certain is that all the students learn a lot about pagan thinking, the magic of the Corelian tradition, Wiccan teachings, and all about the divinatory arts. Most of its 40,000 students take their courses online, but it also had a physical structure for students who wanted to attend their classes in person. Their building was initially in Roseville, Chicago, but when they were attacked by pseudo-Christians and extremists with continuous protests that bathed the entire infrastructure with holy water, they decided to move to Salem, Massachusetts, one of the best-known cities in the world for allegedly executing witches, being chosen also because it has its own witchcraft community and its participants are generally very friendly. Harvey Milk School Harvey Milk High School was founded in honor of the famous gay activist and politician Harvey Milk. It was built to provide education without any exception to lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transsexuals, and above all, to shelter students who were discriminated against, harassed, or threatened because of their sexual orientation or that of their parents. Teachers accept all kinds of students, regardless of their sexual orientation, with open arms. His message of peace and tolerance has been so well received that 13% of his students are heterosexual. The school is very proud of all its students because they have verified that 95% of their entire students graduate and 60% continue with their higher education. Do you think this is a good educational alternative? Clown College If you are one of those people who don't like clowns, it's almost a fact that you hate them because you have never been offered a quality show by one of the graduates of the Clown College. Yeah, you heard right, a Clown College. Founded by the owner of Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus, entrepreneur Irvin Feld trained over 1,500 clowns since 1968, teaching them how to create their own character, the correct and stylized use of makeup, or the design of their own wardrobe, acrobatics, juggling, stilts, and pantomime. But we have to give you very bad news. The university closed in 1997, leaving the world without professionals of laughter. A real shame. If you liked this list, do not forget to subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss a single video. Until next time!